Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the Palestinians. And I want to go clear back to Yasser Arafat. Not a lot of people remember that he crashed his plane and America found him. This is the same guy that it's been known that he brought sleeper cell terrorists to America. So when Bill Clinton, President Bill Clinton, had the kindness to try to negotiate land for peace, yes, Sir Arafat lied, lied, lied. Bill Clinton had an affair with a Jewish girl. Israel found out, and they stopped those negotiations. Let's move forward to current times. President Trump has the great Middle East plan, and the Palestinians are interested. And the minute he said Jerusalem belongs to Israel, they're like, we're done with you. We want Russia to negotiate this. So they're not into the Trump peace plan. And they're a key player in this. Can the UAE, who signed on to a peace deal with Israel, encourage them? Can Saudi Arabia maybe uh, encourage them? I'm not sure. Jerry Kushner is getting frustrated with the Palestinians, making comments about them. Like their credibility is at an all-time low. And he said they're holding back their people. And this is frustrating. And they are holding back their people to a certain extent. But as a Christian, if we give the Palestinians a state, we divide Israel. We've heard what happens to America underneath those scenarios. If we divide Israel, God will divide America. And we already see that America is divided over... Um, race, religion, politics. So I don't know that I want this deal to go through. And I think Israel thinks it's a long shot for the Palestinians to become a state. A lot of things have to work. But for one thing is for sure, they are so glad to have their deal, their peace deal with UAE. In fact, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was um, interviewed by UAE Sky Channel. That's a Muslim network. And they asked them questions. First time on a Muslim network. Can you imagine that? That they would give him, you know, time? That they would like him more than they do the Muslim Brotherhood. The UAE is some really cool Muslims. And I think Israel will like them. I don't want to see Israel divided. I want to see Israel united. I want to say that again. But this was a good tra uh, peace deal. Not a trade deal. A peace deal. And I don't know that Trump's be, going to be able to work with the Palestinians. Um, he's going to have to pressure them. This peace deal is going to bog down. Just because other Muslim countries um, agree, there may have to be a war before they, uh, before they sign that. When we see the Psalm 83 war, you know, like Damascus gets destroyed, Tel Aviv may get destroyed, Syria and Lebanon fight Israel, that could happen. We don't know, but at this time, Palestinians are not interested in any peace deal.